You don't know the power of the dark side. All my life I wanted to be a fucking, I wanted to be a Sith, not a fucking Jedi, alright? Sith can fucking, the power. So it's Star Wars Rogue One, a Star Wars story, or Rogue One, a Star Wars story, whatever the hell it's called, I don't really know. All I know is this movie is really good. I really enjoyed it, alright? I re It's, okay, so Star Wars Rogue One is the story of the Rebellion getting um, the plans to the Death Star, and it's in the New Hope, it's a prequel. Uh, this is a movie, this is a movie that um, is before a New Hope, and uh, it's really good. I really enjoyed it, alright? I'm a big Star Wars fan, alright? Okay, I, w I was gonna see it, okay, so I was gonna watch this movie Saturday, and then I was also gonna watch it, um, I was also gonna watch it on Friday, and so I changed my mind on Friday, and then I changed my mind on Saturday because I was busy and stuff. So I had to watch it Sunday at 9 9:45 a.m. I woke up at 8 in the morning, went to the theater at uh, like 9, and it was worth it. It was worth it. I really enjoyed this film. This film is really good. It's so good. I'll be honest with you. I think it's it's not. It's, it's just really good. You, in my opinion, you really should go see this movie. It's really good. The, the visuals are amazing. The story is really good. And even though you know what happens because you've seen A New Hope, you know that um, they get the plans. The journey to, um, uh, the journey to the to getting the plans, the the mission to getting the plans, really great. I really enjoyed this film. Now, not all movies are good. Um, I did have small complaints, just just small complaints, really small complaints. Um, one, okay, so Star Wars, I love it. All right, I really do. So, opening crawl is a big thing about of Star Wars, and that's something this movie does not have. It really bugged me, to be honest. You know, it's it starts. It's a and, it, and again in a galaxy far, far away, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, and then and then you have the whole story you're reading. You're listening to John Williams' score, which is the most amazing music ever to, known to mankind history. It just blows your brain away, and you're getting prepared for the adventure. Oh, I love Star Wars. I'm a big fan. I'm a really big fan. Ah, uh, yeah. But, um, we're getting prepared for this adventure, and then nothing. Nothing. It just, it says, it's, it's in a galaxy, in a, lo a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, and then the movie starts. And I really think, even though I, a, um, the opening log is a big thing for Star Wars, I really think this movie really needed it. I really do. Here's the thing, not that many people know that this is a prequel, like this is a movie before A New Hope, and um, it's going to confuse a bunch of people, actually some people, I've been hearing like some people going like, well, um, how about, why didn't, um, you know, Rey, Finn, or Kylo Ren appear, like the, the characters that were in Force Awakens, because this is a prequel. This is what happens before A New Hope, episode 4. So. Yeah, I really think an opening log would have explained a lot more, and it would have like it would have showed you who, what, where in the timeline of Star Wars we are. Okay, so there's one scene in the movie, and it's like this um, squid thing, and it's like this big monster thing, and it's like gonna interrogate this one thing, and it's really weird. Like I, if they took that scene out of the movie, I really think it. It's like it that scene did not need to be there in the movie to be honest in my in my opinion It really did not have to be there in the movie uh, The characters for Rogue One really good really good. I like general or general so general so is a really strong Independent woman and you know what Star Wars Star Wars has been showing that women are strong all right go women one thing I also liked about this film was that it showed a, a side of the rebellion we really never seen before. It's um, like this, this this side of uh, like 
Okay, so in one scene, there's, um, David Luna is a character in the movie, and, uh, he just, like, straight up shoots this guy, because, you know, it's like, there's no hope for that guy, and he, it's his mission, and this, um, the character played by Diego Luna, I don't remember his name, I wish I did, I think it's Caspian, Caspian, I'm pretty sure it's Caspian, I, I think it's Caspian, alright, so, not everyone can be perfect, um, Cas uh, Caspian, um, uh, he just, he will do anything for the uh, rebellion, and it's all for the greater good and stuff like that. And and when I say anything, I mean anything. I mean, he, at one point he actually says in um, the movie that uh, he has been doing this since he was nine years old, I believe. He was since he was nine years old. He's been with the rebellion, and it's and I really like that they show that side of the rebellion, a rebel like something we've never seen. Like there was a like there's a dark side to the rebellion too, like. Everyone does bad things. Okay, so, as you saw in the opening, you know, look at this. Black cape, red lightsaber, the gloves, feel the power of the force. Okay, when, okay, so I saw Star Wars, alright? Never wanted to be a rebellion. Never wanted to be a part of the rebellion. Those the rebellion people suck, alright? I want to shoot electricity from my hands and choke you with my fucking force. Ugh! Yes, alright? I really okay. Darth Vader, he is the Sith Lord. He is the one of the best villains. He's an iconic villain. And there's this one scene in the movie of Star Wars Rogue One. Oh my God, it's like a horror movie. That's all I can say. It's like a horror movie. All right, it's it's really great. I really love that. I really enjoyed this movie, guys. So to sum it all up. After telling you about Darth Vader, after everything, uh, my final my final thoughts and my my uh, my score for Rogue One, my final thoughts are I really enjoyed this film, guys. You guys should really go see it. I really, really, I mean, really enjoyed this film. My final score for this movie is a a a, a minus a minus nine out of ten. Like, I really enjoyed it, guys. So tell me what you thought about Star Wars Rogue One. Tell me what's if you want if you're a Star Wars fan. Tell me what's your favorite Star Wars in the comments. I'll see you, man. If you want, if you want, if you ever see Star Wars, dude, come on. <laughs> I'm just playing, guys. But no, see, um, tell me what you thought about if you've seen Star Wars, if you or if you have uh, another favorite Star Wars movie. Tell me what it, what it is. Comment below. Let me know and sh subscribe to Hector's channel. So I know this review is a little late, though. And that's a really good ring uh, thing, uh, you know, finals, busy, stuff like that, and uh, plus I got sick, I was like, oh man, life's just hectic right now, you know, it's, it's really hard. And Christmas, yeah, so, you know, I had to go Christmas shopping, get gifts for, you know, special people, stuff like that, yeah, I'm a nice guy, what's up, I'm also, I also like Star Wars, and... I think sometimes I have issues. Uh, mm. Okay, so Hector, I want you to include that in the beginning. It's just I forgot to um, record some of the stuff. Uh, hell, I forgot my uh, score. Shit. Um, so put it like somewhere in the beginning. Just I trust you, bro. I trust you. You're funny, Manny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, bye.